<clears throat> just got done with my 10 minute walk for today so basically every meal but i just walk for 10 minutes just to improve digestion and a little cardio cardio like not necessarily cardio cardio but uh a little energy expenditure high so i can eat slightly more food because i'm on a bulk uh meaning i'm on a caloric surplus i lay because i have to fill out <clears throat> the 90 kg weight class so anyways uh, just thought I'd share my uh, workout with you guys and talk about a few things that I wanted to talk about. <clears throat> Yesterday I had squats and a whole upper body session, five sets of four too. So I recorded the first set, only the last set, just to show you guys how the intensity varies in between, like when the sets go on and why it is so important to program uh, properly. Uh, because I see a lot of guys going like almost rp9 on their first set on the second set ma they're again very close to their um, muscular failure on the third fourth set fifth set man i see a lot of guys failing uh, to do what they've done in the first set so that's what i wanted to talk about in this video so as you can see the first set was very easy very easy to know let's just call it like i had like let's just call it rp6 ish on as the sets went on uh, even though I was resting for about three to six minutes in between sets, I also wanted to make this video just to address rest timings and it's not by go earlierly misinformation uh, misinformation the normal myth let's just call it uh, myths about rest timings and pump and all these sort of things. Here's what you need to know about uh, rest timings, the building industry, fitness industry. Uh, it's full it's full of myths and fake hopes, high hopes, and any. So one of the biggest misconceptions is uh, the shorter you rest in between sets, the better your workout's going to be or uh, something. The shorter the rest, the more the pump and the better the workout. Here's the thing. Uh, if you're not training as a CrossFit athlete or if you're not trying to uh, specifically do a myo rep sort of training, drop set, superset sort of a training, uh, where you're doing back to back and trying to accumulate a lot of lactic acid in your muscle metabolite training once again yeah metabolite training where you're chasing a pump that's that's a different story and that duo type of training has its has its place and when you're training like that short rest time is the way to go that you're not gonna accomplish what you're looking for like if you're a natural athlete if you are a beginner, beginner intermediate athlete, bulk of your training program has to be heavy, basic compound movements. I can't stress this enough. On the rest, rest intervals in between sets, I've seen a lot of guys doing that two minutes rest bullshit, having their stopwatches on, and you need got two minutes, you're not ready, and you're going under the bar, not performing well. Those of you who've got misconception about rest timings in general, I just want to talk to you guys. Uh, Personally, <laughs> uh, there's more to recovery than just muscular, local muscular fatigue, uh, which is obviously the biggest factor when it comes to recovery in between sets. Uh, but then there are there are other factors too, like psychological factor. Just imagine you've done a very heavy set of leg presses if you don't squat, or even squats four sets, a set of uh, ten reps. On a, you're really tired, like two minutes. Like when the two minutes time rolls around, you're not ready, you're not ready, where you're, you don't know where your belt is, <laughs> you don't know where your life is. It's two minutes, it's very little time, and then you can't have like the best set that you've prescribed yourself uh, to doing. And there's uh, assistance stabilizer muscles or bantabaiko gets fatigued. For, for example, squats, you're working your quads, obviously, if you're a bodybuilder, you're working your quads, that's the primary mover. Uh, but then you know, like muscles in your erectors, meaning your lower back and uh, some of your joints are still not recovered a hundred percent. And when you go into your next set, take two minutes, uh, start on if you've done ten reps in the first set, uh, second set, my God, that heavy. You're probably gonna not fail at the quads, but then your back starts giving out. If you had taken an extra minute of rest, probably could have gotten another ten reps. That uh, back that's a limiting factor which we don't want obviously we want to work our quads and obviously your aerobic capacity 
uh, we're not there to train our aerobic capacity, lungs, heart train go na ko na mi. There's a separate time and place to do that. Uh, you can do your cardio work outside. You can push some sleds outside uh, to build your aerobic capacity. So when you're doing your heavy compound basics, uh, resting too little isn't the best way to go about it. That's what I think. If you wanna debate argue let me know <laughs> uh, but then there's like the other end of the spectrum too where guys are resting too long in between sets uh, 15 minutes so I'm real muscular recovery peak so it's like a peak and it just sustains for a while and you pay awkward uh, peak and so we're recovered completely recovered first could say is like two three minutes my uh, the peak until where we're ready to go for another set or could say until like eight ten minutes ma <clears throat> where we're a hundred percent recovered uh, so call it but then we don't want to be perfectly recovered it's not a powerlifting meet you just want to be uh, recovered so you can go for your next set uh, without your mus without your muscles or any other assisting movers so you don't want to rest too long only uh, there are some guys who do that as well I've seen it. Uh, I used to be one of those guys too. Paila paila, being in the gym for four hours. Ani, what do you do in between sets? When the hell I, I, I use my phone, Instagram, chalonsu, Facebook, chalonsu. I talk to a shit ton of people. <laughs> Just the way you unza. So what you basically want to aim for is, uh, go when you're ready. So a guy my size, uh, not a big guy. I'm not a very small guy as well. Ninety ninety five kgs ko lai. Three to six minutes is a perfect perfect rest time in between sets and if you're a smaller athlete uh, two to four minutes is the way to go about it uh, so obviously uh, there are place to do that on the exercises when variation and so squats bench press deadlifts heavy movers and any bent over barbell rows leg presses hack squat on the Romanian deadlifts lunges just the movements are man so you want to take a little longer rest and obviously when you're doing more bicep curls and lat pull downs and side raises calf raises uh, there's no movements and you don't really ne need a lot of rest uh, one minute two minutes lepani you're completely ready to go also uh, muscle pump something to do with hypertrophy uh, any muscle pump doesn't go six minutes man it goes away probably 10 15 20 minutes man but then under that so you don't really have to worry about losing the pump equals losing gains obviously you can vo equate volume too like i said again i go squats my four sets of 12 now whatever four sets of eight got it and you rest for another minute and or go four reps and you're equating the volume but then uh, why not just rest one minute longer to do the same exact weight volume is everything hypertrophy ma uh, and with that being said i think that's about it for rest time my uh, first set or video kizetsu so it looks pretty easy some exercises ma but then trust me as the volume builds up uh, it gets really hard and you that's what I'm looking for. Uh, first set, I want to be somewhere around 6-7 RP scale. Ma, ani last set, ma, probably 8-9 range. Ma, I try to creep into that uh, zone. So that's basically everything I wanted to talk about. Uh, mainly because rest times. Uh, do my, it, I mean, there's a lot of confusion. What rest times, ma, ani tempo, ma, ani muscle pump, ma. <laughs>